Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. Today we are going to see another interesting example that is automatic door using PLC. So in many organizations you have seen that there is automatic door which opens when it detects human presence. So we have tried to make such a program using PLC. I will show you here. So assume that initially the doors this is door 1 and this is door 2 and they are closed so this closing sensor will sense that this is closed okay now assume here we have vir sensor whenever any human come across this the pir sensor will become on so what will happen doors will open but what will be the sequence uh, let us assume this is the reverse direction and this is the forward direction. So, what will be the opening sequence that will be motor 1 reverse and motor 2 forward. Okay, We can assume like this. During this, when these doors are apart, this closing sensor will be turned off because now doors are not here. And it will move reverse until it reaches to this opening sensor and it will move forward until it reaches to this opening sensor. When the person will pass through it, the sensor will turn off. So after the sensor turns off, this system will wait for 5 seconds. If within this 5 seconds, person again come across this, it will stay in the current state. Otherwise, if there is no human presence and sensor is continuously off for 5 seconds, then doors will try to close. So what will be the closing sequence? Door 1 will be in forward direction and door 2 will be in reverse direction. But initial condition is at this time opening sensors should be turned on because door has reached to here. So opening sensor will be turned on and after 5 seconds has elapsed door 1 will move forward and door 2 will move in reverse and it will move until it sends the closing sensor then system will stop so this is all about the problem definition let us see what are the wiring requirements for this project so first of all we will try to understand the input wiring required for this so there will be same plc just to reduce the complexity here there will be digital outputs that i will explain you in the next slide and here we will connect our digital inputs. So first of all in the source sync we will connect the ground terminal of our SMPS. After that what we will do we have total 4 inputs. 2 opening sensors, 1 closing sensor and 1 EIR sensor for human detection. So all of these 4 inputs at its one terminal we will connect the 24 volt supply. Now PIR sensor requires 3 terminals, one for positive supply, ground and one for output. So first of all we will give 24 volt supply to each of the inputs. Now output of PIR sensor we will connect it to X0 output and another terminal of opening sensor we will connect it to X1 position. Now I have return sensor over here. So we can use either limit switch or proximity sensor also. So here I have used sensor only. After that closing sensor we will connect it to X2 and another opening sensor we will connect it to X3 position. So this is our inputs. Now we will understand the outputs. So here first of all you are seeing these are our digital outputs and in the C0 we will connect the common of our ground of our SMPS. After that we are going to use just two inputs. Okay, Here there is some error. We are just going to use Y0 and Y1. So just by using the one output Y0 that is used for door closing sequence. How? So when Y0 is on, motor, what we will do, we will energize two relays just by Y0. Motor 1 forward and motor 2 reverse. 
So from here you can see water one is moving forward direction and water two is moving reverse direction. So this is the closing sequence so that I have mentioned over here. So if Y0 is on, this relays will be on and motors will run in particular particular direction and this this will be our closing sequence and this uh, there is mistake here we will connect it to y1 so when y1 is on these two relays will operate motor 1 reverse and motor 2 forward so you can see from here motor 1 is moving reverse it is moving in this direction and motor 2 is moving forward okay so this is the opening sequence I1 is on, it will energize these two relays and it will, so motor will, particular motor will run in these directions and that will create the door opening sequence. Now let us understand what is the logic required to build the ladder diagram. So first of all, we will write one network where if PIR sensor becomes on, then what should happen? Opening sequence should occur. How opening sequence will occur if we just turn on Y0? That Y1. If we turn on Y1 output, then what will happen? Door 1 will move in reverse direction and door 2 will move in forward direction. And it will keep running until the opening limit switch or opening sensor is not sensed. As soon as this opening sensor becomes on, it will stop this motor movement. That means our Y1 output will be turned off. Now it will wait for 5 seconds after the sensor turns off. After the PIR sensor turns off, it will wait for 5 seconds. After 5 seconds, it will initiate the closing sequence. So what is the closing sequence? Y0 will be turned on. Y0 will do motor 1 in forward and motor 2 in reverse. So this will be our closing sequence of our door and the motors will keep running until closing limit switch is not sensed. As soon as the closing limit switch is sensed, our Y0 output will be turned off. So motor will be turned off. Now we will also write such a network that once PIR sensor turns off and the waiting time is started, and during this waiting time, if PIR sensor turns on again, so it will remain in same state. That means in open condition only. Doors will be remain in open condition only until it turns off again. Okay. So this was all about the logic. These things will be more clear to you while doing the programming. So let us start our programming. So friends, now I will open my ISP soft software from here. Just click on the new file. Confirm yes. Here we will write the name of our project. Click OK. So our name is invalid. So we have to again close this and write another name. Just click on the new file. Confirm yes. Let it be OPIC 27 only. And tick OK. I hope this time it works. Okay, so now we can write the device command list from here. So X0 is our PIR sensor. So let us so let us write PIR sensor. X1 is our opening sensor one. Two is our closing sensor. X3 is our opening sensor 2. X2 
device row is our door close and log one is our door open so this is all now just close this and click on the program right click on it and click on the new just confirm yes and we will maximize this and zoom it from here so first is code that we will write for door open this is the network for door open so first of all as soon as the sensor is sensed so for that let us insert no contact of x0 we can also insert contact from here that i will show you so you have to select over here as soon as the x0 is on we want to turn on y1 that is our door open sequence you can insert coil from here like this or just from your keypad write out write out y1 that is our door open sequence so this is it so first of all let us latch this because sensor will turn on and then it will become turn off but our y1 should remain on so for that we have to latch this that we can do by parallel contact to this so you can select this and from your keypad you can write or y1 press enter or what you can do you can take contact from here select this take contact from here and when this sign appears click on it so parallel contact is created so these are the two ways whatever you find easy what we want to do we want to do one interlocking that while y1 is on y0 should not be on means if y0 is on y1 should not be on so for interlocking we use nc contact so that you can do by writing ldi so this will in, insert the nc contact now we have to write address so we want nc contact of y0 again select over here we want to stop this this is the condition to start this is the condition for latching this is interlocking now uh, we want to stop this output when the opening sensor are sensed so how we will do that if x1 and x3 become on at that time it should become off so again we have to use the nc contact of an x1 and nc contact of x3 when the opening sensors turns on nc will lose the continuity and this door opening output will be turned off now insert net new network from here so this is network for starting timer x1 and x3 becomes on at that time timer should be on so we can simply write ld x1 and ld x3 and click over here and write tmr that is the mnemonics of timer now we will write the timer number so we are going to use timer t0 now we will write the time period so if i write 50 over here it will consider as 5 seconds because this is the 100 millisecond timer press enter so this function block will be inserted here besides this again here we want to one add one more thing if timer has started but again if someone comes then again the x0 sensor will be turned on and if x0 is turned on then this should be off okay timer should be off so again here we have to use the nc contact of x0 if x0 is off that means pir sensor becomes off then only timer will start and if this ons again then timer will stop and reset it now again insert 
network. So this time we will write network four door closing. So when the timing is completed, output Y zero should be on to close the door. So what we will do? I will write LD T zero. So NO contact of T zero will be inserted. Now click over here and write out Y zero. So door close sequence output will be turned on. Now again, we have to latch this. So select over here. In parallel to this, we want NO contact of Y zero. So just write OR. That means O ring of contacts. And what address you want? Y zero. So you can see Y zero comes parallel to this T zero. So this is called the latching. Even if the T zero becomes off, this will keep Y zero on. Now again, here we will use the interlock. So we have to use the NC contact of Y one. That means currently, if the door opening output is on, then this output cannot be on. Now we will write condition to stop this output. So when this output should stop. So there are the two conditions. If closing sensor is sensed, that means NC contact of closing sensor. If this becomes on, then output will become off. Y zero door close sequence will become off. What is the another condition? If Sensors become turn on again. That is this PIR sensor senses again. Then also door closing sequence should be stopped. So again insert the NC contact of X zero. Here we have to write X zero. So again if the PIR sensor become turns on, it will stop the closing sequence, and if these two limit switches are off, then it will start the opening sequence. This thing you will better understand in simulation. So this was short and simple ladder logic for automatic door. Its simulation I will show you in the next part of this video, where I will also design the HMI screen for this project. If you want to learn more examples like this, show your interest by liking and subscribing our channel. Meet you in the next video.